In today's flat character design tutorial, you'll learn how to quickly draw character's proportions without any measurements and how to trace and color your character design in Adobe Illustrator, even if you're a beginner. You're watching TNT tutorials? Let's move on! Standard human proportions usually look like this. We use the head size to make all measurements. It's not necessary to count the number of heads when creating your character, but it's worth remembering the most important points. The elbow in standard proportions is where the ribcage ends. If you look at my illustrations or any others, you'll see that most often any character's arm bends exactly where the ribcage ends. So we can draw any torso and we can already know that right here we'll have an elbow. In standard proportions the arm ends above the knee. You don't have to do the same in your drawing, but you should consider that the arm should be about that length. You can imagine your character scratching his knee. If he has to reach far out, then the arms are short. But I usually move on with drawing legs right after drawing torso. Legs can be as big and long as you want. Torso can be super small comparing to them. Divide your character's legs in half and you'll see where his knees are. Now we can draw arms and draw a small head. We already know the basic principles of how to draw character's proportions, so we can move on to the pose. Everything's exactly the same here, we just need to rotate and move our character's limbs. I make a research of all possible photo references to draw clothes for my characters, so all I need is to simplify clothes for my character and add interesting patterns. By the way, I'm thinking of doing more tutorials where I can show you how to draw different poses and easily apply them to your own characters. Do you need such videos on how to draw poses? Let me know and we'll move on with tracing and coloring this character design. You can download this sketch and additional files for this tutorial on my Patreon. I usually trace with overlapping method. It's very fast, easy and you're tracing only short lines one by one instead of tracing shapes. Also notice that I have a sketch layer and outlines layer. Select all lines and in Pathfinder hit outline. Apply stroke width again, ungroup outlines, pick the lasso tool, select final anchor points and cut them. You can delete lines in the same way and pick a few points at once. Duplicate outlines layer and lock it. For this layer we'll use divide and we'll apply color to it. So create a huge rectangle, bring it to the bottom, select all and choose divide in Pathfinder. Ungroup this object, delete unneeded and then group needed objects to easily apply color later. Take a look at how I made color groups. Now we can simply apply colors. Don't forget to press thumbs up if you learned something new from this tutorial and also subscribe so you don't miss more useful tutorials like this. This was TNT Tutorials, thank you for watching and see you in the next video!